Greetings, explorers of reality, and welcome back to Reality Rip, the channel where we venture into the boundaries of the known and the yet to be known. Today, we embark upon a singular journey, a pilgrimage to the meeting grounds of the most mysterious phenomenon of nature where the laws of the minuscule intersect with the processes that fuel life itself. Imagine, if you will, a realm that exists within the very fabric of your cells, a place where particles dance to the peculiar choreography of quantum mechanics. Yet, these particles are not isolated from the bustling city of a cell, they coexist with thermal fluctuations, a ceaseless movement of heat and energy. We often consider quantum mechanics and biology as distant relatives, perhaps acknowledging each other at a family reunion, but never truly engaging. However, as we'll discover today, there's a dynamic, unexplored relationship that binds them an interplay of quantum and thermal effects. Especially active at the mesoscopic scale, a domain smaller than a speck of dust, yet bigger than an atom. As we dive deep into this spellbinding narrative, we shall unravel how quantum processes and thermal fluctuations might coalesce to influence biological systems in ways we are just beginning to grasp. So fasten your intellectual seatbelts as we transcend the ordinary and rip through the fabric of what we know. Venturing into the realm where quantum meets life, for in that moment we are not merely observers, we become cosmic explorers mapping uncharted territories of existence. If you would like to take this moment to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment below bragging about it, and hitting that notification bell as hard as you can, that would be wonderful. Anyway, welcome back Cosmic Voyagers to another chapter of Reality Rip. Today we traverse a narrative landscape so spellbinding it challenges the very foundations of what we understand to be possible. A realm where the invisible hands of quantum mechanics reach into the warm, bustling neighborhoods of biological cells. A place where the orchestra of life plays not just to the rhythms of classical physics, but also to the ethereal melodies of quantum phenomena. Let us first step back in time to understand how this fascinating saga began. For decades, quantum mechanics, the realm of particles, superpositions, and probabilities, was considered a separate domain, a distant cousin of the warm and messy world of biology. But as often is the case in science, what appears to be separate often turns out to be beautifully interconnected. The first clues emerge from the green factories of nature, plants. Within the magical tapestry of photosynthesis, the first act begins. Here, photons from the sun take a quantum journey through complex molecules. Scientists call this phenomenon quantum coherence, where the photons move as a synchronized wave, enabling plants to capture sunlight with uncanny efficiency. Techniques like two-dimensional electronic spectroscopy have mapped this elusive choreography, cementing quantum mechanics' role in life's most vital processes. Yet, the symphony of quantum biology does not end with plants. In the bustling metropolis of enzymes, particles perform a miraculous act, quantum tunneling. Think of it as a particle taking a shortcut through a mountain rather than going over it, thus expediting biological reactions at rates classical physics never anticipated. Imagine smelling the scent of a blooming flower, 
Researchers speculate that our effectory scent might employ quantum mechanics as well. The electrons in the scent molecules may tunnel to our effectory receptors, thus triggering our perception of smell. It's as if the electron whispers a secret message to our senses. But wait, this story has even more mysterious characters. Birds, for example, seem to be quantum navigators. Some theories suggest that entangled particles in their eyes serve as magnetic compasses, guiding them across vast distances. Here, Quantum Mechanics and Biology co-author a narrative of survival and migration. What's even more intriguing is how these quantum phenomena persist amidst thermal fluctuations, the random movements and interactions in biological systems. Thermal noise should, in theory, destroy the fragile quantum states. Yet, they persist like a delicate snowflake in a storm, challenging us to understand how. Mathematical models and molecular simulations stand as our lanterns in this murky terrain. And as we take these quantum steps, we find the implications are grand. From drug delivery to solar energy harvesting to quantum computing, the possibilities are as boundless as the cosmos itself. Ah, but this is not just an easy journey. The challenges are immense. Decoherence, complexity, and experimental limitations act as the Cerberus at the gates of this quantum biological underworld. But with each challenge, we refine our models, sharpen our tools, and broaden our collective imagination. For those of you seeking more than this narrative voyage, I recommend the tomes Life on the Edge by McFadden and Al Khali, and Quantum Aspects of Life, edited by Abbott Davies and Petty. And stay tuned for peer-reviewed papers from the Annals of Nature Physics, Physical Review E, and other heralds of scientific discovery. And now we will proceed beyond the outer rims of well-charted territories into the pulsing heart of quantum thermobiology's most enigmatic puzzles. Picture, if you will, an equation that describes the fate of quantum systems enmeshed within its environment. This is what scientists refer to as an open quantum system. Here, the framework employs Lindblad equations, mathematical spells that describe the evolution of a quantum system as it tiptoes through the chaos of thermal noise. The equations serve as guideposts, directing us through the haze of interactions that occur between delicate quantum states and their much rowdier classical counterparts. Now, let us peer into the fuzzy borderlands where classical and quantum realms clash and collude. Here, transition operators act as gatekeepers, allowing or forbidding the passage of phenomena from one regime to the next. The mesoscale, a domain neither macroscopic nor microscopic, is where this border war rages. It's akin to a bustling city where the languages of quantum coherence and thermal fluctuations overlap, sometimes confusingly, yet often with breathtaking coherence. What of thermodynamics, you ask? Ah, the second law, that relentless march toward entropy, must also bow to the peculiarities of quantum governance an evolving field known as quantum thermodynamics, aims to understand how biological entities achieve thermodynamic stability 
while playing host to Quantum Spectacles. It's as if an expert juggler keeps several balls in the air, each ball obeying a different set of physical laws. We mustn't overlook the path integral formulation, an intellectual gem that Richard Feynman bestowed upon us. Imagine a biological system flirting with different states before settling on one. It doesn't just pick a path, it explores multiple paths in a superposition, integrating over all possible histories. Yet life might be improvising its outcomes guided by quantum probabilities. As we move towards more advanced experimental techniques, the plot thickens. Imagine the cold, isolated world of cryogenic measurements or the ultra-fast snapshot captured by femdesecond lasers. Even single molecule spectroscopy and quantum dots find their place in this drama as scientists strive to pull quantum phenomena out from the midst of biological complexity. But what of the controversies, the intellectual friction that sustains scientific evolution? Yes, the timescales of these quantum effects remain hotly debated. Is it ephemeral, or can it endure the warm aqueous ambience of the cell? Critics also question its biological relevance. Yet, let's not forget that naysayers have often been the heralds of progress, forcing proponents to sharpen their arguments and refine their experiments. For those hungering for even more sophisticated discussions, journals like Quantum Information Processing, Biochemica at Biophysica, Acta, Bioenergetics, and Physical Chemistry, Chemical Physics are your nexuses of deep scholarly pursuit. Goddamn you scientists need to learn how to make better titles for your books. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth, questions multiply, but so do the windows of understanding. Could the water that bathes every biological cell be the unsung hero, acting as a mediator between these realms? Are biological systems capable of error correction on a quantum level, mimicking the algorithms of quantum computers? Thus, dear explorers of reality, as we conclude this advanced excursion into quantum thermobiology, Remember that the questions we ask today pave the way for tomorrow's insights. Let us continue this endless chase from the subatomic to the celestial, driven by the intoxicating blend of curiosity and wonder.